you know, the CIO stands for career is over. So my role is going to change completely, I think. Um, I, I look at it from the point of view of saying that we, we're going to be value bloodhounds. So we're going to look for better things to do. So a lot of the things that we currently do uh, can be done through um, utilising cloud services and other capabilities. So we're going to have to move up that value chain and be able to deliver and find much better ways of doing whatever it may be for our organisation. Basically, the other change that we're doing is we are more of uh, relationship managers now to the business because now we have the infrastructure supported by technology giants and basically we just have to understand the needs of the business to give them the best technology moving forward. That there's really three things that IT leaders are worried about. The first one is budgets, which tends to be the perennial first complaint from an IT leader, frankly. The second one is trust, and particularly trust around cloud solutions. And the third one then is around influence and the ability of IT really to work with other leaders in the organization to get things done. Microsoft has actually recently done a survey of CIOs across APAC. And in that survey, it's become very clear that CIOs in this region are on a journey. The priorities today um, really are around devices, around building hybrid IT infrastructure and so on. So when we asked the CIOs around the region what would they think their focus would be in two, three years time, it shifts into mobility, uh, big data, cloud, and really user experience and, and shaping, um, shaping experiences. I think cloud is a game changer for them. Uh, but I think cloud is about to mature at this stage. Uh, earlier, five years ago, the adoption to cloud was really very small, uh, basically because people were not too, they had, there were a lot of concerns about the security on the cloud. We are also uh, seeking the facilities or tools you know, to be able to analyze the data, yeah. either it is the unstructured data or the structured data. So we know that the concept of big data is popular right now. I think the shortest advice I can give is to embrace the world as it is today and as it's going to be. And from my perspective, from our perspective, clearly that's a mobile first, cloud first world. So that means make your people mobile, enable them to work from wherever they are, and make that happen from the cloud. So from that perspective, you know, my, my offer to my peers in the region is Get interested. If you want to know more and you want to know how to start, certainly I'm a resource, my team's a resource, to talk on a peer-to-peer -peer level about how we've done it. Um, you know, we've fallen over like everybody else does, and we've got a lot of learnings. And the key thing is start.